We in the garage with it. This what the paper says. Who is Kendrick Johnson? On January 11th, the body of Kendrick Johnson was discovered inside a vertical rolled up mat in the gymnasium of Londell's High School in Valdesta, Georgia, where he was a student. After preliminary investigation and autopsy by the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, Johnson's death was ruled accidental, stating he died from positional asphyxia. His family had a private pathologist conduct a second autopsy, which concluded that he died from blunt force trauma to the right neck and soft tissue, and suggested that his death was not accidental. After the opinion of the private pathologist was released, Kendrick's family stated they believed he had been murdered. Kendrick's parents filed a legal action to open a coroner's inquest into his death. The independent autopsy found that sometime after Kendrick's body was recovered from the mat and had passed through the funeral home, it had been stuffed with newspapers. The funeral home that processed the body following the GBI autopsy stated that they never received Johnson's eternal organs from the coroner. The organs were said to have been destroyed through natural process and destroyed by the prosector before the body was sent back to Valdesta. A subsequent investigation by the Georgia Secretary of State Office found that the funeral home did not follow best practice and other materials was more acceptable than newspapers. Nonetheless, the investigation cleared the funeral home of any wrongdoing. On January 13, 2013, Johnson's family filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Lowndale's County Board of Education, its superintendent, and the principal of Lowndale's high school. In 2014, a $5 million lawsuit against Ebony Magazine was filed after the magazine published a series of articles naming two students as possible suspect in Kendrick's death. The magazine used pseudonyms, but was otherwise accurate in the description of the boys, including the fact that their father was an FBI agent. In January 2015, Kendrick's parents filed a $100 million civil lawsuit in the Superior Court of DeKalb County against 38 individuals, including three of Kendrick's classmates, local, state, and federal officials, the school superintendent of Lawndale's County, the police chief of Valdesta, the state medical examiner, and one FBI agent. The lawsuit alleged that the FBI agent ordered his two sons and a classmate to attack Johnson, that his death was murder, and that the other individuals in the lawsuit engaged in a conspiracy to cover up the homicide. All local Superior Court judges recused themselves from presiding over the case, preventing the lawsuit from being filed and heard in Lawndale's County, citing their close proximity to the accused. Shortly before the lawsuit was filed, U.S. Attorney Michael J. Moore said in a statement that a federal investigation was still open and that the investigation has proven more complicated and taken longer than originally anticipated. After Moore resigned in 2015, the case was transferred to the Northern District of Ohio under U.S. Attorney Stephen Dettelbatch. Shortly after receiving the case, Dettelbatch also resigned. Despite the resignations, the Department of Justice investigation continued. In November 2015, the Department of Justice filed motion in the civil case to intervene and stay the case. The U.S. Attorney said, Allowing evidence discovery in the civil suit to continue would have a chilling effect on the federal investigation, which had expanded into investigating possible obstruction and grand jury witness tampering. After the Justice Department motion was denied, Kendrick's parents dismissed their own wrongful death lawsuit, saying that they had hoped to refile after the conclusion of the federal investigation. They were subsequently sued for more than $850,000 in attorney fees and a million dollars in defamation damages. On January 20th, 2016, the Department of Justice announced that they would not be filing any criminal charges related to Johnson's death, stating, After extensive investigation into the tragic event, federal investigators determined that there is insufficient evidence to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that someone or a group of people willfully violated Kendrick Johnson's civil rights or committed any other prosecutable federal crime. In March 10, 2021, the case was officially reopened. However, Londell's County Sheriff Ashley Polk stated that he would not be claiming that there was something wrong with the original investigation or that the original investigation conclusion of an accidental death was wrong. The sheriff also stated he does not consider the case to be a homicide. He further stated, the two brothers' name in previous legal actions by the Johnsons are not suspects. Fast forward to present time, January 2022, CNN and others confirmed the latest regarding the case that has remained in and out of headlines for nearly a decade. 
According to Polk, who was not serving in the capacity of sheriff when Johnson died, said he read every page of documents turned over to his office by the Justice Department and stated that the 17-year-old's death was a weird accident. Now get in the comments section and speak your piece on the situation. Why is it so hard to bring closure to this case? And is there really a conspiracy to cover up this incident like the Johnson's lawsuit stated? Until next time, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and join the band. My band.